what's happened. They'll ask us what happened. And how did it happen? Did it happen to you? I took that from a song. If you're familiar with it, it's the song Echo Chamber by That Handsome Devil. And I quoted it because this is a mix of a mental health and content video. Wait for it. Update. And that is meaning I'm going to tell you a little bit of an update, maybe not as much as the same as what I've been saying in a lot of previous videos because I've repeated myself while trying to promise content for the longest time. And not many people realize how important mental health is when you don't have full control over your own mental health. That is why medication comes in. So, I had transitioned from Respiridone to Rexulti over this past week and a half. I'm not through the full first two weeks yet, but I think I'm getting pretty well adjusted. Respiridone is an antipsychotic, mainly an antipsychotic, and it's a strong one, so one milligram can kind of knock you out. And I was on Respiridone for the past year, year and a half, along with lithium because I was going to therapists and uh, psychiatrists saying, yeah, I have certain voices and certain issues with my mood and control over just what feels like intrusive thoughts and other factors, depression. I didn't touch an anxiety, but that's another pill. <laughs> so, Rixolti is also an antipsychotic, but it's an antidepressant supplement and anti-schizophrenic at a higher dose. So that third one, it's at a higher dose that's more effective. So for right now, it's partially dealing with the start of what may help replace Respiridone. And I do feel a lot more clear in what I'm doing and how I'm functioning. So it just does feel like, hey, I can actually do a bit more and actually feel like I'm more aware. On Respiridone, I would pretty much take it at night, take it in the morning, and just be flat. And wouldn't have much of a spectrum for emotion or action, and wouldn't have much motivation. Motivation is still a slight issue, but I'm working on that because it's a work in progress. So, right now, I am feeling like I can maybe do a lot more but maybe a, a bit differently. I'm gonna be trying to get back into the things again, but with a different state of mind. With this different state of mind, I will be able to likely do better than I did before because it would be not caring, not interested, too filled with anxiety. And you can say, will through it push through it yeah i did that for years why do you think i went to therapy and psychiatry if i can't do it myself there's the thing that we call the next step the next step is to look for help and i needed help so because i also had that manic episode that was partial last year it was partial because i was on lithium and respiridone that probably prevented me from being a lot more psychotic that being said if i was not on lithium and respiridone or something similar i would be a lot more psychotic and a lot more lost in my head than you may realize so you might think, oh, I'm a totally well-minded person. I can do what I need to. I just need to do it. It's not that easy for me. Trying to do anything 
is like trying to jump over 10 foot walls repeatedly. And these 10 foot walls constantly rebuild themselves if something stops working or if it's just something I'd give up on. And I'm trying to scale these walls as much as I can, but there's always a part where I slip and slip, but that's why I have medication and therapy to help me. So I have been leaving you guys on this channel and on Ponies with Pockets. I've been leaving both channels waiting for a long time on a lot of stuff for videos. Mainly Let's Plays, yeah, it's just a one subject thing, mainly. But I'm wanting to help contribute and kind of direct a lot of what goes on. And this year, I'm going to be also focusing on getting my voice acting career going more professional. So I want that also to be a goal. So, now that I'm actually starting to talk about content stuff, I'm just going to go back over that to-do list since it's been a while since I told you about that to-do list for what is coming up. So, first off, it's going to be mainly pocket dice videos that are really backlogged from last year up to this year. And I appreciate very much the patience that my friends and colleagues have had with me as I've been going through what I have. Because I always had this fear, they're gonna push and say, hey, do it, we've been waiting for months. But they haven't, and I think that there's an understanding there that I didn't really realize that they've been patient and they aren't just in it for getting the views. So, what I really wanna do with content is not only entertain, but boost myself while boosting others. I've learned that it's better to work on a team than it is to work on my own. I feel like I work better on a team because that means that I can help contribute and mix with people in order to produce things. So, that will mean Oops, let me just get out of the way. Total Gamey X. Oh, hey, you're meeting Cyrus. That was a little earlier than expected. Hey, Cy, how you doing? Don't worry, he's just keeping an eye on our content. <laughs> so, Total Gamey X. I'm going to make sure to talk about that in a moment. But first, Pocket Dice has had several sessions that are currently in my recording files. And that will be edited with some extra detail further than just being the recording. I want to make it seem like it has a little bit more life to it and I kept giving up and being afraid of being able to do anything because I felt like I couldn't do it, I couldn't meet up the standards and that was just how I felt. So besides doing stuff for Points with Pockets, Productions, I put gaming here because I am the director for the gaming section of the group. But I want it to be known that I want to help with the group in general and in the gaming section. And if you like my chroma key, let me know. I know it's not the best, but I wanted to kind of have a bit of a banner effect going. So, other than Pocket Dice, I will be putting up the Lost Streams. The Lost Streams are the ones that have been recorded long ago and are now to be re -ho That was the name of the word returned to you as the lost streams of Twitch brought to YouTube and any other new videos that I streamed those will also be mixed in too so you'll have that and let's see what else I had going on I had been doing TikTok videos for a little bit I had a streak going I'm currently on a little bit of downtime but, from TikTok, I'm going to be making my personal compilation, the first one, of the videos I have so far. Just so you guys can get, like, a nice compilation of what I've made so far. So that way, you can maybe be entertained and let me know what you think and watch me be 
a dork and use my voices because I wanted to have a way to use my voices in short stints. And I could do the same thing on YouTube, but I think there's a little bit of a better algorithm currently on TikTok that allows things to get spread around, even if it's just throwing a pebble in the ocean. If that pebble at least makes a few skips and gets us some notice, eh, I did my job. And maybe people start spreading it around. But, hey, that's kind of also why I'm going to be putting up the compilation video so it's like, hey, here's a thing I did, here's a thing I tried, what do you think? And you can let me know, and we'll go from there. So, another thing I have owed you guys for the longest time is the Doctor Who's Q&A video. I will be making an in-between video as a reminder to say, hey, if you have any last questions, put them there. So don't do it here, because that will get a little mixed in with whatever else I have in my inbox. I want to kind of keep it a little bit organized, so that way you guys know where to go, you know where to ask, and you can still do the original video, I'll link it anyways, I'll link the original Q&A opening video in the description so that you guys can just say, Hey Doc, what do you think about our glasses? Well, I think they're timely. You know, something like that. So, that's going to be fun and as long as I have enough of a cool room, I should be able to do fine and not overheat. <laughs> yeah, I broke the magic a little bit by saying that, but... Let's be honest, cosplay can get a little hot. Okay, moving on. Dr. GG, Dr. Groovy Gainiac, the cool guy to tell you about games and whether they're groovy or just plain good. It won't be like that. I won't put it like such a spectrum that you would think, oh, it's bad. Each game can be good. You just got to find the fun. And that's the idea behind the character and the idea behind the series. I want to just point out what makes the game fun. I mean, we got Superman 64 at some point, so I'll get to that eventually. And the first game, Duo, I still need to stream, of course. So I will let you guys know in a future video when I'm going to be exactly doing the uh, stream for Battle Clash and Metal Combat. Both are fun games, and unfortunately, I don't have a good setup to use my super scope to give the authentic experience. It becomes a first-person shooter if you use an emulator. But, it can be a speedrunning game for shooters because it does time you on how long it takes to defeat a boss. It's a fun game, and I really loved it as a kid, so I want to make sure you guys can kind of see... How fun it can be and for a game by Nintendo that was good and a lot of games are by Nintendo are good in general we know that but I'm just saying as a as an unusual little uh, what do you call a game with a sequel I don't know the exact term it's not an anthology it's not a trilogy but you might know what I mean anyways basically it's a good duo of a series so, I recommend it. If you can find an emulator, try Battle Clash first and then Metal Combat. Metal Combat's better because it's the sequel, but you'll probably like the pixel art if you're a pixel fan. So, the other review guy that we know of, McToity, he will be also returning with an updated teaser because that one I gave you originally didn't exactly have all that flair that I was looking for. The series is going to be a little bit scripted, but like anything that is like that, it's going to be scripted and it's going to have to be a little bit more detailed. And I do want to involve other characters. <laughs> Rich. <laughs> so yes, that is the main focus, focuses for my content. So you'll be seeing stuff... Ah, oh man, I gotta get used to these directions. You'll be seeing stuff for, from me, from my stuff. You'll be seeing stuff for Total Game Yaks, And you'll also be seeing stuff for 
Ponies with Pockets Productions, and Ponies with Pockets Gaming. I'll do what I can for gaming, because my main focus, again, is to get a lot of the backlog stuff out. And I'm... Excuse me. <laughs> I'm professional. I'm way behind. Yeah, and I am so polite. I apologize for my guess. So, that would be about it. And my focus, I think, is going to be for today is just maybe practicing my art a little bit because I am curious how my art style has changed since I've changed medications. If you ever tracked art while well, under the influence no not you <laughs> sorry if you've ever seen pictures of someone influenced by drugs or medications you would get an idea that yeah, your mental state affects a lot. And yeah, that was a drastic example because I included drugs. I mean, yeah, prescriptions, yeah, they're drugs, but they're a different style that is meant to help. And the medications I'm on are not controlled substances, so they're not addictive. I did have, well, I do have one medication I'm trying to get off of that was an as-needed anxiety medication. But I am on a maintenance medication for anxiety that is meant to replace it that acts as a non-controlled substance. So therefore, I don't get tolerant to it. I don't get addicted to it. I am mainly trying to use medication that does allow me to feel more like me and more in control. Because for whatever reason, my balance in my head just... It's gone. It just flew away, it became a satellite, and I'm trying to contact the satellite, and I'm still trying to get it out of orbit. So, I'm coming back to Earth. I'm getting back down to Earth. That's the main idea. And I want to just finish this off by just, you know, saying, if you want to participate in anything I do, I always have my social media down below, so you can even go to my Twitter, Bugster, B U J. Man, I was mixing it with Jester. B-U-G-S-T-R-E. That is my Twitter, because I was able to be lucky enough to actually get that one. Someone else had Jester, J-E-S-T-R-E, but I just thought, someone gave me a nickname in a stream once that was Bugster, and I thought, oh, idea. So, yeah, um, I'm still using Tumblr, even though Tumblr is still dying. I'm going to link Pillow Fort as well, even though that's closed beta, but it will open up soon. So I want to make sure that Pillow Fort is made use of as a replacement for Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, because Verizon owns Tumblr and Verizon owns Yahoo. So if you use Verizon, get rid of them. All right. Now, before I actually start ranting and making this into another video, I'm just gonna say, if you wanna spread this around, go ahead, but you might be looking more for the content stuff. It's up to you. You don't have to do anything I say. It's completely of your volition. So, I will finish by saying, you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night. I shall see you guys next time. Love you lots. Thank you very much. Whoops, too high. Let's get that heart in place. Can I get that link in? Got it. All right. See you guys later.